a, a, a sorry a uh, translation from our very special uh, Diffy <laughs> when two of our other people came by onto the ship. In the meantime, our drunkard, uh, having been drunk on the ship, was caught by the guards. And I don't mean that as in, like, caught, caught, but was not able to hide from the guards like Diffy was. And so he acquiesced kindly to their uh, request to have a drink and talk about uh, what had happened at the inn to avoid trouble and get a free drink. And uh, now... If I remember correctly, the uh, intrepid group had somehow finally escaped from the ship and the notice of the guards and entered the nearby pub where uh, they encountered a mysterious duck and stranger. Yes. Best characters ever. <laughs> if you say so. You do. Good, because you're right. No, but anyway. <laughs> uh, it is now up to you guys to decide what's going on with the information that you now have and the information you've gained. Well, the three of us were did take a long rest because uh, we had yeah. to get our stuff back. I do remember that. I don't remember where you rested. We rested in this pub because... <laughs> that was the only place to rest. <laughs> because Diffy did her titty thing yeah, that's right <laughs> yep no no it wasn't a titty thing. she batted her eyelashes is that not the same thing they're called tassels and she <laughs> them around. Okay. once again is it that really not the same thing <laughs> if neely does not have to sleep outside she won't you guys are uh good you guys basically would have slept over here in this room so we'll go ahead and give you some vision on that if i can ever or i could just not be able to move that would be great there we go why must i make the map so big <laughs> i'm also too lazy to use the correct reveal button but we're gonna go ahead and uh put you guys in there and I uh, will let you go. In the meantime, we're going to say that our good friend uh, Decker has been uh, released, I guess, from his questioning. I was, trying, I was trying to convince the guards that a dragon was playing fetch with the ship of undead. He was able to convince two of them. <laughs> They're not very smart guards. But yes, uh, to your disappointment, you did not find any bodies on... Or uh, any undead bodies on the ship no but i found skeletons that turned into ash they do turn into ash at a touch which was a very nice good thing was why you always touch the thing you're investigating unless you're afraid always. of being poisoned or trapped <laughs> so we all Some... to be a mimic. are we also being the same bed or what <laughs> uh you assume you got I mean, a bed i mean but i mean that's... sleep with me i don't give a shit Who's sleeping? <laughs> so I'm gonna so leave the drunk tank in the morning. You basically, yeah. Except for you know, you were still drinking, so. Fair enough. You basically outdrank the guards and they all passed out. I go to the bar to refill all of my tankards. Alrighty, <laughs> yeah, it is, you know, up uh, up here. Feel free to make your fast ass oh, way up there. <laughs> I really should put some letters up there, shouldn't I? Let's see. Where's... How do I move myself? You just can't... Uh, oh, you know what? You might have to drag your character in. Mm. Oh, I'm on the map. Yes, but that might not be the one from your thing, and only the one you drag in from your thing is able to be moved by you. It's weird. Or if I said okay. it. So I gave you another one. See if that one works. Okay. Uh. You can also use the. Uh arrow keys to move ah, there it is okay i learned that from michael Gotta move. yay yeah. i'm helpful no you're not <laughs> no i'm gonna mark myself uh, as you come in the uh you know barmaid comes up and says well hello and thank you for coming i uh you know uh see that you've 
uh, already been drinking today, and it's eight o'clock in the morning. But we <laughs> welcome all. You would not be the only person, and she basically points to some guy passed out on the floor. So as she's in the middle of talking to me, I go, hey, lass, and then she points to the guy. Never mind. I start rum rummaging through his pockets. This is fair. This duck over here goes quack. Sorry, he goes quack. Do I find anything in the guy's pockets? Well, I mean, oh, there we go. Is it? Give me a moment. You found a duck whistle. I'm going to sit back and stare at the duck and whistle it. The duck's going to look at you and go, quack. Look here, you build bastard. You're either eating with me or I'm eating you. Make your choices. Quack. I look to the, 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 the lady. The, the, I'm guessing she works here because that's how she greeted me when we walked in. Yep. I want some sausages, a little bit of egg, and feed for the duck. Possibly a spit roast. Ask around for me. Coming right up. On the counter. Coming right up, sir. And she runs the off at high speed. But it's going to take a second to get feed from the back. I got you. I'm waiting. I take out an extra tankard and start drinking from it. In the meantime, the guy on the floor wakes up. He goes, Get him out of the of singing jobs. Yeah, basically. Give me one second. That is 19 to bare fist him in the skull. I mean, he's pretty much defenseless, so it's going through. Okay, that's three damage. Legending. He goes, Rawr! I continue drinking and waiting. The duck quacks again. But he also walks up to the bar and begins drinking out of a tankard on the top of the bar. I like this duck. Quack. And finally, the lady comes back and she uh, has everything and she says, unfortunately, we have no spit roast. Uh, but we have everything else and you will have a change of four coppers. Good, sir. Very well. I'll give her the extra copper, copper as a tip. You wouldn't happen to know where my friends are this morning, would you? Uh, what would your friends uh, look like, good, sir? I describe different and Zane. Ah, they came in uh, last night and somehow convinced the old man to sleep in the storage shed out back. That sounds like an after breakfast problem. Ah, yes. Quack. I call the duck over. Duck comes over. Offer him the feed. He begins to eat the feed and quacks. <laughs> I finished my breakfast. That sounds like a good idea. She goes to return to these two who are up here talking. And the bartender seems to be basically falling asleep at the bar. Alright, cool push-ups. You got lots of character interactions. Alright, this guy finally gets up from the ground. He goes, ah, oh my God. Morning. And he walks over to the bar. He's like, I want a drink. And the bartender says, you don't got any goddamn money. He's like, I've been giving you drinks because of Donnie. But you need to get some goddamn money. He's like, I got no goddamn money. They took a jobs. They took a jobs. And he... I give, I give Donnie a copper. Donnie quacks and he takes the copper over to him and gives it to <laughs> gives it to him and then he walks back shaking his head and sighing. Not actually sighing, but saying the word sigh. Sigh. Yes. Gotcha. Yep. That is exactly what he does. At which point Katara spies drink. He's like, yeah, Donnie! And he goes to drink it and immediately passes out before that, bleeding from one ear. <laughs> <laughs> Your character is so fucking buff. <laughs> so buff. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Look, <laughs> women can be buff and beautiful. <laughs> Nosebleed. <laughs> Slaps. <laughs> Don't you look at me. <laughs> How dare you objectify me. Uh, and at this point, the uh, guard, a guard is going to come in through the door. And he uh, he's going to be like, All right, let me get a drink for the road. I need a drink quite quickly. Well, we can get you a drink if you shut the hell up. Also, did you figure out what the hell's up with the ship outside? No, I don't know what's up with the ship outside. It's the undead. They're playing with dragons. I yell across the bar. You told that lie yesterday. I still have a hangover. That's why I need another drink. And he uh, promptly gives him a drink. He's like, they're going to move the ship soon. I don't know where to. Apparently, it crashed coming originally from the south which doesn't make any sense because the only thing south of here is a desert and then he walks back out and he's gone with his drink and the cup bring back my mug meanwhile the dm is going to go silent for a moment here while people interact Oh, baby. You know it. <laughs> Start bench pressing him. <laughs> Billy does not mind this. She likes all the <laughs> Don't shock her, just spock her. <laughs> My uh, you, you threw a coin at me. What kind of coin did you throw? So I can uh, add it to my inventory. Because <laughs> I have no money. It was hot. I threw you a gold piece. <laughs> yeah. Give me a gold. Let me work through this. I don't. Wait, yeah. how many? Give me a, where's my pen? <laughs> I currently have one gold piece. Let's go. <laughs> wait, did I have any? Did we start off with any gold? Uh, oh, if, didn't. You didn't if, if you didn't spend it all, you should have. Yeah, I didn't spend anything so far. <laughs> I mean, also, almost all of your guys' inventory was in the inn that got crushed by the ship. Ah, oh, okay. Wait. Okay, I tossed. Wait, can I can I see if I roll and see if I found a gold coin to toss at her? <laughs> <laughs> well, the only one who has any gold coins right now is me, because all my stuff was on my person. Exactly. <laughs> so a sleight of hand... Try and steal a gold coin from it and then throw it at me. <laughs> to be fair, anyone who is carrying stuff on their person gets to keep what they had on their person. It's just any ownings you had that were not on your person were basically in the end. Or at your oh, estate man. if you own property. I, oh no! My dirty bag is a penny. <laughs> oh, a penny? Give me a copper? Yeah, I guess so, because I, I only got an well. eight, so. <laughs> Whatever I found might have been just a piece of lit for all you know. Well, if she's doing a sleight of hand against me, what do I have to do? Perception against that? I mean, yeah. Unless she rolls like that, in which case it's below your average perception. You're passive. Yeah. <laughs> but we know how I like to gamble. It's up to you. I always give the option. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. Uh, he not only catches you, he like grabs your hand when you're doing like, what are you doing? <laughs> oh boy, here she goes with the fucking persuasion <laughs> shit again. The charisma check, huh? Like I said, she cannot make you do anything, but I can't. You, she can make you feel ways, and then your character, should you choose to play in character, may or may not decide to do one or the other things. So, no. I mean, my character does have a insatiable lust for the flesh desires yeah then you might be in trouble buddy <laughs> oh See, man. like dirty paladin like if My you bad. had his flaw is i have an insatiable desire for carnal pleasures you're not gonna make a good paladin 
No, baby. No. I thought it was the most interesting flaw, so that's why I grabbed it. I mean, it is. <laughs> pretty good. I like it. Give it a five out of something. Well, come on, Diffy. Do do the uh, persuasion roll. I do what? 20 plus five? Uh, I think <laughs> your yours... Per your persuasion is plus 13, dear. Oh, persuasion. <laughs> yeah, you're not doing a charisma roll. <laughs> Damn it! I need a, I need to roll a nat ten on intimidation for uh, or not nat ten, nat twenty. So I'm gonna try to counter that with an intimidation again. Uh, my intimidation is a plus seven. Come on, give me a nat twenty. <laughs> yeah. Not no. only has she persuaded you, you now are a little intimidated by how sexy and powerful she is. Her sexiness intimidates you. <laughs> and that's from now on, by the way. That's not like a one time. That's what the crit fail, fail is. Is like now on. Before she would have already just like persuaded. Now I almost want to make you do whatever she was wanting you to do. But you still are a free person. And you can you can do whatever. But yeah, currently you are super intimidated by her, but also want to do anything you can to like just like even be in her presence, basically. Good good job. Wonderful. Okay. I love my crit fails. Grabs the coin and throws it at the one doing Yay, so I do have a gold coin. You have a gold coin. Hey. Damn it, now I have to subtract another gold coin. Okay. I'm down to 23 gold. It's okay. You got to sleep in the inn for free. <laughs> At which point the bartender finally comes back knocking on the door. He's like, hey! You all! Are you woken up? Yes, sir. It's, it's time to get going. It's the morning. The sun's been out for a while now. Also, I hear weird noises. And some bound chicka wow wow music coming from back there. <laughs> Sounded like. Da, 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 da. <laughs> uh, but yes, if you would please, uh, I need to, uh, I need to store stuff back there. That's when Kapura comes, kind of, lumbering out the door, big Goliath. <laughs> Back to the dog meat shop. Okay. He looks at you. He's like, "Well, you're uh, you're a big fella." Yeah, I get that a lot. So, are you ready to vacate the premise? I am. I'm sure they got a little bit of things they want to take care of first. Hmm. 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 Might have to clean that room. <laughs> Uh, I'd be more worried about the bed. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna peek my head out the door. I'm gonna ask, is the duck still here? The bartender looks over. He's like, wait, 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 wait. wait. Do I hear him say, say this? Uh, I, would, did, I would like to have whispered it. Yeah, I feel like he whispered it, so it would be a perception check. So you got to make a perception roll for that one. I feel like I'm I okay guess with you it should. My pass, my pass was fourteen. I will make a roll for this. All right, because I've been waiting for them. <laughs> well, I'm sure. I'm sure he, he you see Four, a giant. Goliath. So fourteen then. Uh, you know, I, I you are actually also at a good angle, having basically being facing Donnie as far as I know, or at least not turned away from him completely. I mean, I feel if anything, he would have heard me. This is also with... true. This is also true. Yeah, I think that fourteen is definitely at least, at least enough to see the giant Goliath like coming out and talking to the bartender. Okay, but I don't hear what they're talking about. I uh, with a fourteen and a whisper, I'm gonna go with no because that's probably roughly like thirty feet across the bar. That's fine. I wave. Well, I'll do a perception to see if I notice this. Fifteen, would you say I notice him way? Yeah, man, that's that's way above average. That's good. All right. So 
Kapura sees him waving, I, he just kind of leans over a little bit, even though he doesn't have to. Just kind of like, sup. I'm eating with a duck. Oh, you with Donnie. Yeah, I'm, I don't actually say that. I'm just letting you know that I'm, you see me eating with a duck. Oh, all right. All Donnie right. does say quack, though. Hey, Donnie. How's it going? Quack. And he munches ale and sips feed. And yes, he sips the feed and munches the ale. <laughs> do you remember how to speak to ducks? Or do I have to do that? Uh, you would have to do your, your thing again. Okay. Yeah, right. yeah. I'll just wave high to the Donnie. Yeah, it's good, because Catharsis is currently unconscious and bleeding from one ear. I'm going to come out here. Although he's smiling. See, see the duck <laughs> and be like, uh, I got something to do outside real quick, and I'm just going to go hide outside <laughs> from the duck. Donnie's going to look over at, at, at Decker and just go, quack? <laughs> quack? Uh, I'm going I'm gonna do the right thing to do. I'm going to empty... Guitarist. I'm, I'm gonna e I'm gonna empty the seed into one of the pouches that's underneath my kilt, so it looks like I just pull my kilt away from my body and dump seed down my pants. And then I'm gonna pick up the I'm gonna pick up the duck and his tankard, and we're gonna follow the guy outside. Alrighty. Donnie Donnie accepts this. He quacks angrily over at uh, Catharis, though. Oh well, then I walk over to Catharis. All right, so they walk to Catharis. What were you doing now, Michael? Well, I'm already typing it out, so... Oh, yeah, that's fine. Ah, yeah, yeah I figured yeah. that's what you were doing. You really yeah, then... you really are just getting rid of the drunkenness at this point again. And whatever may possibly be causing bleeding. I mean, this is Catharsis we're talking about. But, yeah, if you... Let's say three points. Cough, right. coincidentally. Well, actually, no. <laughs> I, I, no, I have to do five. Oh, that's right, you do. Mm-hmm. Because uh, it's either I do a certain amount or I do a flat five to either cure a disease or neutralize a poison. Ye. Which so. is still not bad. So he's uh, he's back. He pops up. He's like, oh, motherfucker. He looks over. He's like, don't have the strangest dream. I was a mole. Quack. What do you mean we're following this guy? Quack. Yeah, well, fair enough, Donnie. You, I mean, you make the rules. <laughs> Plot twist: Donnie's actually the god of this world. Hashtag Donnie Ducko, man. <laughs> <coughs> so his name's Donnie. Yes. Quack. Donnie said yes. You, Donnie. Quack. Donnie says you are a kind man. Except for when you struck Catharsis when he was unconscious. Wait, he struck me when I was quack. <laughs> All right, Donnie, if you say so. In your, in your defense, you were in the middle of waking up. I fixed it. Oh, well, thank you then, quack. No, I am not stupid, Donnie. I'm special. That's what my teacher said. I'm kind of starting I to like this duck. I, I, I will never get enough of those two. Uh, what is different character's name? Neely. Neely, uh, did you ever figure out what's going on with that book? Maybe, what's it here? <laughs> oh, I'm hoping some fun and adventure. Maybe a little bit of coin to fill my tankard. Quack. I used to read, I just wrote a thing. <laughs> ah, yay, the map. <laughs> she pulls it out like a regular newspaper. <laughs> She's like, "What's up?" I try to figure out what she's looking at, other than just a map. Are there any special markings on this map? That's something like something you'd have to roll. Fair enough. <laughs> 17. No, 18. Perception is plus 4. Hmm. Hmm. I wasn't sure if it was going to be more of like a knowledge check. Yeah, my face turns a pink color, so... 
<laughs> he was really hoping he could just sleep that one off, and it was not happening. <laughs> you sleep long enough, whatever you thought was wrong will be gone. Well, after Kapura heals up uh, Catharis, uh, he decides that he's going to go out after Ivana. That sounds good. Uh, as far as a map, you know, uh, it looks to be... Oh, we got typing. Like, I can technically give you a, a history check if it's like an old map. I just, That's like if I said, she lets you see it. <laughs> Fair enough. Yes. Uh, and so that, so wait, okay, so that's right. The 14 is for persuasion then for the map. Is that, well, perception to see it. If, if I need to persuade her, yeah, I, that would be a different I think it might be, mm, well, she's close. She's not at a bad roll. The 14 is not Okay, good. okay, so I go to lean to look at the map. Yeah, that's kind of, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I feel like that's good. I feel like you can get a pretty good glimpse of the map. What you see is that a good portion of the map is uh, not, like, readable. It looks like it's been heavily damaged by time and weathering. And only gotcha. a small portion of the map is visible. Okay, and the guard said this, uh, this ship came from the south, even though there's nothing that direction? Yep, except for a desert. So I lean in real close. Uh, uh, uh. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Does it say anything about a desert in there? Maybe. You uh, you ever wanted to be a sand rat? <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I say you keep your distance, good sir. <laughs> Katharis uh, looks at us. Did you guys say something about a desert? Yeah, to the south. That's where me Apparently. and Donnie came from. Well, before the whole. You know, plane falling out of the sky thing. That was a trip. Quack. Yes, Donnie, I know it was both a trip and an actual trip. So, Donnie, you want to you wanna go check out the sands? Quack. Donnie says we might fall in a hole again, though. It's our treasure in said holes. Quack. Donnie said that he's not sure what was in that hole. And we didn't stick around too long to find out. Oh, yeah. For those people who forgot, Donnie and Catharis were on the ship when it crashed. Gotcha. I was not even aware of this. You were not, but I figured everybody else would have probably forgot. I remember. Nope, nope, I remember. Good. We have to go somewhere to the east or west or something. I can't remember because we made that joke, so uh, I don't remember if we're going east or west. I actually thought it was west. It's obviously west. The other thing is, I'm pretty sure you guys asked Catharis that. <laughs> yeah, and I believe he said west. Yeah, I also want to re reiterate that you asked Catharis that. Well, uh, we, I'm pretty sure we asked him after he was cured of being drunk. Yes, but, but this you is can't. Also Catharis. He cannot push a door open. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Axel. But, oh yeah, you but can't do, either. Do our characters know that? This is a good question. I feel like you would not have to spend too much time around Catharis to realize. But if you would like to make perception checks, that is entirely up to you. I I have not put Catharsis, whatever his name is, very high on my concern list. I do like how the duck is just bothering Gamma's character, though. Oh, yeah. It's <laughs> totally under... Now. I mean, it bothered so, me as a human last week. <laughs> I'm just gonna throw that into my character I know. story. I figured I was like, yes. Someone... So, the ducks, Donnie. Yes. And Donnie, you came from the south, but there's holes in the south, but you're not really sure what's in the holes. Quack. He said no. He said it seemed. Quack. Donnie, I don't know what that word means. He, he said it looked. It said it looked like something ethereal. Okay, let me let me help you out here because I'm starting to get the impression you're you're a bit thick. The word is spooky, spooky, scary, scary. Oh god, damn it, damn yeah, straight up, Donnie's correct. That hole was weird. <laughs> Don't know what happened after we got on it, but after we got out of the hole, 
We were on that ship. And after we got out of that ship, I couldn't figure out what was going on, so I dropped the anchor. And so then to quack yes, Donnie, I know that we you know anchors take you down and that we were in the sky. But I was afraid. Okay. Well, I don't know about everybody else. But ethereal creatures usually, from my experience, garden a treasure of some sort. Is there a uh, guild hall in town for like an adventures guild or anything like that? Hmm. Quack. Donnie says he's not sure. Actually, we only go to the town like today. Well, I was yesterday. asking the DM. <laughs> Because according to the backstory, as far as I'm aware, we should all be vaguely from this area. Yes, vaguely. Yeah, so, so would there be any sort of like adventurers guild or anything like that? Where yes, there there is a adventurers guild on like the funny enough the southern side of town. Okay. And it is uh, a but it is a smaller adventurers guild. So for example, you guys would not have frequented it anymore because you have outgrown that adventurers guild. Okay. Uh, who would we have been doing, you know, small... Currently, you guys are from. basically, like, uh, on, would have been in an in-between run. Since you're back home as adventurers, you're basically stopping back home gotcha. between a, another run to the adventure. So then you have to go from here to your guild-allocated station, which is, let's say, you know, maybe a day or two's ride from here at most... Like I said, this is very much like a, oh, we just got off a six-month assignment and we went to go see home and I, you not, some shit fell on the fucking... Well, I'm kind of interested to find out where the ship came from, especially seeing it's a very old ship. Quack. Um, so, Tony said he agrees. Yeah, if the ship came from the south, I, I feel like maybe going the south is probably the better way to find out about it. Now, the, the guards from earlier, did they say they were dragging it back south? Hmm. Oh, the, the, the guards from earlier said that they had determined that it came from the south and that they were now going to be trying to drag it off of the inn. Got you. Okay. So not returning it, just getting rid of it. Or yeah, basically. So yeah. Because so, now they got to go get shit, you know, from under the inn. Mostly bodies. Also, maybe some of your stuff if they can recover it. Okay. Um. Do I still have Donnie? Is he still like in my hands? Yep. <laughs> I go find Ivana and Kapora. All right. I believe they are both outside. Katharis follows you and Donnie. It's a fun time. What? Now I'm not in the player list anymore. What happened? What did I do? What did you do? No, I, I finally figured out how to change my my thing so it actually shows my name. Okay. So I'm going to... Uh, are Kapora and Ivana facing the west? Uh, that is uh, something you have. Yeah, to Yeah, I would. I would probably be like sitting and leaning against the the side of the pub or whatever. Where, so. Whereas I'm more facing Ooh. toward her. Got you. So then, I come out. You guys are probably you guys probably see me immediately. Good morning, laddie. Got a new friend. His name's Donnie. I hold up the duck towards both of you. Yeah, we actually met Donnie last night before we went to sleep. Quack. Donnie says hello again. Yes, it is good to see you, Donnie. So, I heard the guards speaking this morning after I drunk him under the table. He said the ship came from the south. And Donnie kind of backs that up. Quack. Damn it, Donnie, yes, I know that's not west now. Well, from what I understood from last night was that they were walking to the west of town and fell into a hole, which caused them to land onto the ship. 
Oh no, that most certainly happened to the south. I'm Quite. I'm I'm very comfortable sur surmising that poor Donnie has translation problems. Quack. Donnie, I am an excellent translator. Also, what does barbecue have to do with this? I kind of see your point. Either way, they also spoke of ethereal beings. Uh, wait, I'm sorry. I, I hold two fingers up towards my towards my friends, and I look at Catharsis. Spooky, spooky, scary, scary. Ah! In the holes. And I need to start talking to Ivana again. <laughs> Uh, which usually ethereal beings tend to either haunt places that they were, you know, they died, or places where they were hoarding stuff. So, I mean, it could be a good payday. Are you saying what? you have to go punch ghosts or something? Oh, I'm not exactly Quack. one to be concerned about money issues, but it does involve possibly killing the undead. That's always fun. They're usually aware in some good stuff. Besides, if if it really comes down to it, ethereal beings usually just want a body, and we have catharsis. Quack. Donnie, what do you mean nobody wants my body? Oh, it I, was a joke. I, I, I joke. <laughs> Donnie, can't tell jokes if I have to translate them. <laughs> But they're funnier when you translate them and you didn't realize they were a joke. What? Your life's a joke, and I'm going to start walking. <laughs> I, I follow. Catharsis follows. He is 100% uh, lost. <laughs> Did any of you uh, still have stuff in there? I, I motioned towards the end. Yeah, the all my gold is in there. Uh, well, they're, they're talking about moving the ship off of that today. But we'd have to wait. Yeah. To be around this... I need to get away from this duck, so let's do this thing without the duck, or with, with the duck, so we can get away from the duck. Quick. What's wrong with the duck? Don, Donnie duck. said he'll take you to the hole, but we're not going back into the, in the hole. Then let's get to the hole real quick! I start double-timing. <laughs> Okay. Run. One second. <laughs> Did uh, anybody tell the lady? 12 animal handling to try and fucking make like a nest out of my beard and put the duck in my beard. Oh my so word. I have to keep holding him. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to allow this for ease of time. And I'm going to swing open the door real quick. Nearly, we're moving. I mean, I that's what I was going to do, but okay, fair enough. I just figured I'm standing on the door right now. Uh, that's okay. I'll just step over you or on you, one of the two. <laughs> I'm small enough. So, oh, so they say it. Okay, so she throws her map back somewhere where she hid it earlier and then <laughs> goes out the door. But a moment, oh, and we will. Uh, basically, we're going to do a little bit of fast traveling South. here. Oh, so if if I see her walking towards me, um, I'll I'll catch her up. Um, the guards came in earlier saying that ships came from the south. Uh, supposedly the duck found a hole in the sand that are to the south and found ethereal beings. And I'm thinking maybe they're protecting something. Either way, we'll get the smash. So True. you guys really should use your stage names, but okay, <laughs> I'll go. Look here, Neely. I'm not about all the scribbles. I hit it, you read it. That's always been the plan. No, I'm wrong. All right, let's go. Let me start following him south. Okay, so now we will do a little bit of fast travel. Yay! Yay! Yeah, instead of just trying to walk over there and you know, doing it all by hand. Uh, and basically, you don't have to travel far. It's probably like two miles to the south of town. Because you guys, this town is basically at the edge of a change in zones from desert to moderate. Gotcha. God damn it, I just had to put Donnie on the door. 
Anyway, we're going to the new page, and what you will do is drag your character from your character page into this new area once we get in there. That way, uh, I need to you can control how to it. Get back to the character page. Uh, it sh there should be a. If you have, like, did you pop away the thing? Yeah. But if your tabs have disappeared, there's like this little square in the top right corner that has three lines that you can pop and get all your little tabs. Collection. Back. Uh, what you're actually looking for is journal and uh, ah. you have your character there. Yeah. You it looks like a newspaper. <laughs> gotcha. Found yeah. it. Um, it's uh, basically a click and drag on the name. Not a problem. I see it. I just need to figure out where I'm putting it now. All I see is a black box. Give me just a moment, and you will have your I'm reveal. Learning. I'm learning blam. stuff. And you will be basically putting them yep, right there, to the north of that area. So yeah, you I'm guys learning. did a good job. I'm learning. I try to keep things right central. Oh, Jesus! Oh! <laughs> ah! if Ivana is massive! What the ball? <laughs> I think someone ended up on a different size picture on some stuff. I'm going to go ahead and uh, rescale you back down a size there. <laughs> I liked her that way. Oh, I'm sure I you did. Other, I thought the other one was the Goliath. I mean, she is. <laughs> yeah, me and the duck are going to take points, so that way I, I get all of the... The Pokey yeah, about 30 seconds into my sprinting, I would have been like, I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as is life. All right, did uh, periodically everyone... along oh, the... We got one more. We got to get Neely in here. I'm not Period sure. Oh, Jesus! Yeah! <laughs> There's two of them! I'm Who knew there was a harem plot? Getting the things right. I might more have... pleasure for me! <laughs> oh my gosh, she used her shadow clone jutsu. <laughs> all right uh, so uh once you get around here donnie goes quack of course my character is his flaw is he has an insatiable desire for carnal pleasures oh this is the wrong but that could be a candy carnal the, pleasures. the name of a candy <laughs> <laughs> just just don't get addicted to tree resin <laughs> Anyway, Donnie, Donnie quacks and uh, Katara says, he's like, this is it. This is it right here. Where did Katara go? Right? Yeah, I, it's the hole. Quack. Yes, Donnie, I know it's really fancy. Quack. Donnie, I don't know what that word means. I'm going to do, I'm going to move over to the hole. I'm going to look down it with a perception check. Come on, perception. Uh, looking at the hole in the ground, you see that it is, you know, it's not just a hole in the ground. It looks like a very an ornately carved, like, circular dais, probably raised about a foot off the ground and then lowered another foot down once it's in, so it just has a lip. And so that when they fell in the hole, they probably tripped over the lip and fell in the hole. All right, um, um, I'm going to, uh, that's a 16. <laughs> slight of a slight of hand. Slight of I don't hand even. To tie him I up. don't even know what you can test slight of hand with. Probably a dexterity save. All right, let's see what Cathar's got. Well, if it's oh of well, hand, that's probably them sneaking. So wait to do what? He's in front of me. I'm figuring I'm coming up behind him and tying rope around his waist. <laughs> All right, that's different than I, I assume. Tie up with rope. It's like, man, you gotta like be really <laughs> sneaky to just like. How are my hands bound now? Yeah, I no, was no, not. I'm just. I'm, I'm passing rope from one hand to the other, and then I'm gonna tie it in the back, and then right before he realizes what's going on, I'm gonna tie it real tight, and then pick him up. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm actually going to do a history check to see if I've seen a, any other kind of dais like this anywhere else. Ooh, this is actually a good thing because I got to make a roll for this. I would also like to make a religion check to see if this Yay. is part of, like any religion. So, oh, there's my history. Oh Jesus! Ooh, nice. Ooh, very good. Uh, so you you looking at this, even though you're not able to tell like specifically what it's from, you're able to kind of date it uh, to roughly three or four thousand years ago. 
It looks like this belongs to a long dead civilization that basically existed when this desert was not a desert. Okay. And that this appeared to be some kind of uh, ancient dais. You know? So that's what you can tell with your history check. Looks like it hasn't been touched for years, but that it was recently uncovered by desert winds. And you can see footprints leading over the edge. <laughs> I wonder whose footprints those are. <laughs> Are one of them slightly webbed? <laughs> it's a, you know, uh, it, there was only one set of footprints in the sand, and that's because Donnie carried him all the f- <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> But, uh, yeah, you, you can see that there is a set of footprints that it's ancient as far as religion check. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, that's only an 11. Ooh. Uh, you are able to tell that this belongs to the god Garl Glittergold. Oh, not this one again! <laughs> <laughs> Dump the duck free glitter bombs or whatever. I just love it because I didn't even make that one up. That one's real. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try the religion one too, just in case. Religion. Oh, no. I thoroughly believe it. Oh yeah, you uh, you look at it and you uh, you see it and you're like, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, don't see anything wrong with this, Donnie Quacks. <laughs> Thoris is like, Donnie, I, I, I can't say that. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna reach my backpack and I'm just going to slowly start putting down some hemp and rope down the hole. Whatever happened to be tying up catharsis, just out of curiosity. That definitely worked. Okay. <laughs> so I see my buddy over here trying to lo lower rope, and I said, no, no, I got this, I got this, and I start bringing catharsis over. Uh, oh, oh. Is, is the hole, does the hole become, like, pitch black, or, like, can we see the bottom, or? It's actually only one foot deep. Oh. At least as far as you can oh. tell, it goes one foot down and then there's sand again. Huh. Better safe than sorry. Yeah, push the duck in. <laughs> no, no, we, we aren't going to push Donnie in. Quack, Donnie's like, please don't push me in. <laughs> no, I kind of like Donnie in. I push Catharsis in. <laughs> While holding on to the other end of the rope? <laughs> yep. <laughs> right. I feel like that will at least require a strength check. That's pretty good. Let's oh, see what he can do to that's counter. That's 20. Oh, yeah. He did a bad roll. All right. He's going in the hole. He's like, you son of a cock-sucking duck. He thinks Donnie did it. <laughs> Just giving you some contextual information there. Uh, and as soon as he, you know, get he hits the sand and nothing happens, he's like, huh, that was anticlimactic. Damn Don't it, worry, Donnie, I... stop pushing me in holes. Don't worry, I got this. I'm going to walk over to the duck, and I'm going to grab him by his neck. Uh-oh. <laughs> and I'm going to try throwing him in. Right, I feel like you're going... I feel like you're going to have to make a dexterity roll. One, to grab the duck, and two, to grab it from Decker. All right. Oh, he's a, he's with Decker? Yeah, he's yeah, in his he's beard. In my beard. All right, I'll, I'll, make, I'll make a double dexterity roll. So first one is... My AC is 16. Uh, let's see. Just a straight dexterity roll. I'm not sure because this is this. Would this be considered a grapple, right? That's what yeah. I would consider this. Yes, well, it would be. Because yeah, you're trying yeah. to engage. In, uh, well, see, this always gets me. Is where you define some of these things. Grapple D and D five E is. You want to grab a creature or wrestle with it. Mm -hmm. So you would be grappling Donnie. So that would mm -hmm. be what you would do for his. Snatching items from characters? Wouldn't that be a sleight of hand, sort of? Why don't we just simplify this and I jump in the hole with Donnie? That sounds like a good idea. <laughs> I hand him the road as I, rope as I see him going after the duck. Here, hold this for me. And I jump in the hole. As soon as you, uh, your, the, your foot passes through the center of where the, or sorry, the tip of where the rim is, instantly it lights up blue uh catharsis falls through and you begin to fall through the hole 
Oh my god, he is a god! Oh, this is the whole thing. Oh, I, I like that that's... Grabbing I, that rope. I love... <laughs> I love that that's your assumption. Is that I've it's like made, the I've duck. I've never made a religion check about this. <gasps> Wait. Can I make a religion check to see if this stupid duck is golf glitter bum or whatever? You can. <laughs> 16. He is not, but he is Dang a, it! He is a weird ass duck. He is not a religious duck though. And and as far as you can tell, it is not because of the duck that the portal opened because the portal opens as soon as Decker's foot drops through the rim of the portal. I only rolled a 10 to grab the rope, so I'm pretty sure I'm falling. Can, can I, I, even see that I mean, that's happen. pretty standard, but I guess a standard person wouldn't I'm, be able to grow, grab the rope falling. I'm going to do a dex. To try to grab the rope? To, no, not to grab the rope, to grab him. Nope. Okay. That, all right, you have the strength. Do it. Wait, to grab me or to grab to, the falling? To, no, no, to grab the, the no. falling deck. To, yeah, so, to grab Decker. Oh, so gotcha. add, add, just, just out of forewarning, the falling Decker is 175 pounds. Yeah, the Goliath Barbarian has like... Yeah, that's right. I forgot we had a Goliath. Okay. Yeah, he's a, he is a monster. I'm not, I'm not a barbarian. A bar right paladin no. or whatever. Fuck. Whatever. The Goliath oh, with 20... Ooh, 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 yeah, no. He grabs you with one hand and pulls you back up to the rim of the thing, at which point, as soon as uh, your foot is no longer in the circle... Actually, as soon as Cathars fell all the way through and your foot wasn't in the circle anymore, uh, it shuts back off into a regular, you know, dais. Meanwhile, I'm still holding Decker. I would appreciate it if you didn't try doing that kind of stuff. Oh, I, I mean, now that the door's open... Well, the door's now closed. We don't I, know what caused it to open. Wait, did um, Cathars fall through? Yes. Quack. Yes. All right. Okay. Shut up, duck! Somebody wants to hear what you have to say. Uh, different was asking if she could read the the map. Yes. Yeah, and she rolled a d20. Got us. Ah, that's pretty and, good. Uh, and, hmm, how do I do this? I, I get hmm. advantage. I think this is the only way I can do this. Uh, Divi, look at the stream. Mm -hmm. Oh, hold on. Okay. Give me a moment, though. And then look at the stream, sorry. Oh, where is it? Where is wait, wait, wait. It? This is what you can see. Oh, that's okay. And now I gotta go. Decker, back. Decker's a dwarf, right? Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> I just already see this going bad places. I mean, I was still kind of holding you up in the oh. air when you were attempting to do the athletics to climb down no, i i thought you'd already said that you'd put me down so no no he's oh, he is no. not yet so now he's uh i assume he's now going to put you down yeah yeah as soon as he puts me down i'm like okay well then i'm gonna try to crawl in the hole assuming that the floor will disappear so okay. i'm gonna start crawling down so as soon as you uh you know you try to go down but once your you know feet get in you just you're hitting sand and you only have about a foot, so there's not much uh, you can get down into. Uh, where is Donnie when you're doing this? In my beard. Still. Where is your beard? Underneath my chin. Okay, where is your beard <laughs> relative to the ground? <laughs> okay, so I duck down. Like, I'm holding onto the edge of the circle, and I, like, lay on the, on the sand. So you're laying down in the circle. Yep. Uh, as soon as your beard passes the rim of the thing it lights up blue and both you and donnie immediately fall through even though i'm holding the edge uh you fall but you're still holding the edge so it's open okay. but you're still on the bottom side of it you know what i mean because you were laying gotcha. down you basically pendulumed downwards as gotcha. if the floor just disappears gotcha <sighs> at some point i'm gonna find out where she keeps storing stuff 
Her, her, her abnormally large you, uh, spot shall be explored. You just hear a quack from below you, at which, as well as a God damn it, Donnie! Oh, God. I'm slowly working my way down. You know what? I grew tired of this. And he's going to jump in the hole. All right, the opening is still there, so you have now jumped in the hole. Are and... you acrobatics to jump in? I mean, I guess it's only like a one-foot hole, or oh, one-foot okay. lip into this hole. All right, let, let me let me word it a little bit better. I walk to the edge of the dais, and I just step forward and let myself fall in. Okay. And... You fall through the hole because you have let yourself do that. I am gently climbing, me and the, me and the Duke, after everyone jumps in or does whatever it is that they're wanting to do. All I'm right. waiting for you guys to go in first so I can see if it's <laughs> <laughs> I, already, I already took the leap of faith, so... Yeah, but be fair, to be fair, catharsis, to be fair, Catharsis survived, so if he can survive... All of you should be able to survive. He's not wrong there. <laughs> Fine, jump in. I just don't want the duck getting hurt, so I'm climbing. Walk over to the edge. I could leave right now. Never have to deal with the duck again. Oh, oh I could see. I could totally see what he's wanting to do right now. That uh, one scene from. Uh, what is it? Is it Happy Feet? Oh, the duck's Lord. sitting there going towards the edge. He's like, oh, I can't do this. Walks back and then turns around and just falls backwards into it. Pretty much. Says, I can't go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, just, just like, it's, it's a good... I'd probably stand there for a good ten seconds. Before it's just... Uh, then step forward. <laughs> Alrighty, and uh, you step forward through. You pass through the white, the light, and uh, I assume Decker is trying to climb down still. Yes, correct. All right, there is. Uh, all right, now that everyone's in the hole, which is what I was waiting for to resolve that situation. <laughs> um, there is. Uh, there's. As soon as Decker goes down, he feels that there is no bearing under his feet, and, and then, uh, then I fall. Yep. <laughs> so like pulling one hand down would basically going for the next ladder step would have been like ah. I try to put Donnie on top of me, so I try to fall on my back. Okay, <laughs> uh, let me move you guys to the next map and make sure it's all good looking, and uh, we will be ready to really kick things off. Although I will state Inquiring this: Inquiring minds wish to know though, where will there be giant Neelys on this one as well? <laughs> um, probably. I'm gonna make a random mass guess and say probably. That's good. I like my dick. I'm also making a random mass guess. I'm gonna go with. Oh, that's what I need to do is just resize the. Sorry, I got an entire game grid. around someone who stole some of Neely's genetic material to make homunculus. But he but he just sliced huge it with Goliath. giants. <laughs> <just burn. laughs> Hey now, don't don't give away my secret fucking plot. <laughs> you just said hey now, and all I could think of you're an all star. Get you game game <laughs> yep. Yeah, not gonna lie, that might have been in my head too when you did that. Not gonna lie. Anyway, sorry about this. It's just taking a second to resize this stupid map. No worries. Mostly because. I forgot the command to actually resize the map. Oh, by the way, that was my 120 I'm allowed for the night, so all my other rolls are going to be absolute shit. <laughs> Alright, and what we're going to do is actually just... Please, make... no, I'm not laughing at your inconvenience <laughs> of, of not rolling any more 20s. I'm laughing at our inconvenience of not having you roll any more 20s. Yes. <laughs> That's, that's almost the same thing. Almost. <laughs> All right. We are now basically just, uh, ready. Just a minor detail difference. 
Now, does it matter that I don't show up on the bottom? I don't think so. Shouldn't. You talking about where all our names are in the bottom left? Yeah. No, I don't. Yeah, I don't think so. Uh, there's a setting for that in, I think, in your settings somewhere. But yeah, it's... if if you wanted to, you could actually hide all those. Boop! Welcome to a new black map, baby. I. Twenty something of meat for two. Some stacking and shit too. Let's go with this one. And you should all say hello. To the bottom leftish corner. That's not bottom left. That's fucking middle left. That is definitely middle left. Is that middle left? Where's, where's, you, where's you did this wrong. Where are we? <laughs> <laughs> Where are? Oh we? no, that's bottom left of the map. There's just extra space. That's oh, that's okay. so I can put uh, character tokens down there and access them quickly. Gotcha. Sorry. So middle left. I will take into account the relative oh. positioning. Control scroll. Yeah. Yeah. It's nice. There's a lot of different ones. They've been adding different stuff too. You can also use minus plus. Look at that. Okay. Um it used to be that you could right click when you had your select tool too, but no there's oh you can, but here I come, baby. But yeah, so Oh, we're... I'm sized right. He's <laughs> like, no, I'm the correct size. No, I wanted my picture to reflect my buffness. To be fair, it's impossible. Oh, true. Physically impossible. Last but not least. And let me get my guys over here. Could you? Donnie Ducko. Could you? Son of a bitch, Donnie! <laughs> this is the second time you pushed me in this hole. Quack! Okay, well, maybe I walked in it the first time. <laughs> I feel like we're missing a person. Yeah. We are. Diffy uh, moment. Oh, yeah. Well. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, welcome. You guys basically dropped out of a hole in the sky and uh, ended up here. You landed on we the went. deck. It was literally a five foot fall. So, or. Oh, okay. <laughs> Five foot fall from where your feet would have ended, basically, except for the Goliath, I guess, who got like three feet. <laughs> but yeah, that's why there was nothing to really climb down, so it really was like a hop in action, but it was also not a far hop. And luckily, you guys all went where I planned to have you, near the middle of the ship. Uh, I'm warning you now. I've been looking for ship fucking insides for a minute, and I could not find shit. That's fine. So. I will probably just be putting you guys layered, so like you'll have to keep track of where you are layered wise. I can also gotcha. use the map and make extra copies of the ship if that's easier for you guys. No. But we'll go forward from there. I figure you guys have imagination down. You guys got this. Imagination. What's your thing you call imagination? But yeah, welcome to the uh, skyship. Ships don't fly. And, uh, yeah, whenever you want to take a look around and get a... Uh... Oh, so we're in a ship. Yes, yes, we are. How did we get on the spaceship? We jumped down the hole. Ah, so we're, like, stargating it up in here. Quack. Donnie says he doesn't know what any of those things are. <laughs> <laughs> so this barrel thing, is this, like, a cannon? It is indeed a cannon. Very Do big I cannon, as you can tell. That I'm in this space. I roll if I recognize you from any space. So wait, did you recognize you're in the space? Do I recognize the space I'm in? Okay, that's oh, sorry. I know the phrasing just gets me sometimes. I'm like, wait, what? My brain. <laughs> My brain only understands questions in one direction. <laughs> I'm doing a perception check. And that's basically what you gotta do. I mean, if you want details. <laughs> uh, you... <laughs> Me am sailor! <laughs> Perception is a four, I think. So let me see. Granted, you can always take a ten. I oh, get to be a sailor! I'd rather take the ten. I forgot I have passive perception. Okay, that's fine. I, I run up to the, uh, the, the wheel of the ship. I'm a motherfucking sailor! 
Oh, my passive perception is uh, You are able to see that this seems to be quite an old ship. Uh, it seems to be fitted differently. The sails, for mo uh, much of the part, are on the side. It does still have some top mounted sails. But for the most part, it is basically has side sails that keep it held aloft better. Uh, you also can see that there are some lines stretching from the side, but you need a little bit higher perception to see and perceive where they're going and what they're doing. Uh, Decker, as you head towards the rear of the ship, you uh, notice that it's, you know, s seems to be a lot of wind out. And uh, give me a moment to give you some more vision as it is cloudy up here. It is not cloudy enough to render things distant, but you do have to, you know, wait for clouds to move sometimes. Hashtag DMs are slow. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna grab the wheel of the ship. Ha ha ha. <laughs> Okay, so you said you're grabbing the wheel of the ship? Yes, I'm holding on to it like a chest okay. captain. Okay, he said he's holding on to it. That's why I let it go there. I try not to open up too much of the map because there will be a lot to and going on. then I'm going to crank it hard to the right. All righty. Oh, God. Oh, God. No. As Before soon as he... he started doing that, I was going to see <laughs> if it was... <laughs> It was as untouched and <laughs> abandoned as the last one. Like, dusty and everything. Oh, give me a moment. I'm still laughing. All right. Uh, so, as upon doing that, uh, the tail wing over here basically flips up. Catharsis goes, ah! <laughs> And flies over to the other tail wing like a bumper pool table, basically. <laughs> Uh, and you guys tilt slightly to the left. Probably a couple degrees. Smash right. the back of Cap's head. Stop it. But, but I'm a captain. No. Quack. But Donnie says he was a captain me. once. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's go with the wheel. <laughs> <laughs> Good boy. All right, so Tori, the hatch looking down, you can see that it is uh, super dark down there. There's no light from which you can tell. Dark vision, 60 feet. Oh, nice. Thank you. I forgot you're a dwarf. Uh, dark vision, 60 feet. Uh, you see that there is a stairway. Because of the angle, it is leading back towards the way you just came. So it goes back up. Well, it goes down, but yes, it goes back up the shift towards what would be the west, I guess. So it goes from here. Catharsis is west. Yes. Or actual West. <laughs> Catharsis is West. <laughs> well, best, catharsis. Case, best case, then Catharsis West would be South. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's why I said up and down. It's Catharsis West. <laughs> oh, I gotta love Catharsis. I like directions. We all have okay, a Catharsis. And, and that. And, and that is outside the, uh, that is in the ship, correct? Yes, so that will be going down from here. I'm going to just use my direction yep. down. I got you. Sorry, I'm also not helping because when I'm looking at the, the screen you guys are seeing, I'm looking at it through the fucking stream. And sometimes that is reverse screen from where I have it so that it goes through the thing. God damn, I hate these maps. All right. Are we good here? Yes. So any of you young down. ones got any problem with me uh, going inside? Do you have the duck with you still? Yeah, yes. I gotta give him ability to hold the duck for a moment. There we go. Remember, yeah. travel in pairs. Safety is paramount. Quack. <laughs> Donnie says safety is next to godliness. Oh my god, more god stuff! <laughs> Ivana, go with Decker. Please and thank you. No. <laughs> 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 well, I see he, she she gets close to Neely when she says no. It's okay, you nice as a thing. Katharis hops out and he's like, where should I go? We Co I'm Co headed Co there and he just comes back no. on the wing. Katharis, be the captain of the ship. I'll go with Decker. Okay. So I'm going to get my rope from Katharis before he disappears. <laughs> get it yourself. Tharis will absolutely disappear if left to his own devices. I'm just warning you. I'm gonna I'm gonna go untie Catharsis and steal my rope back. Okay. I need it. I'm gonna count that as a free time action since we're now splitting the party a little bit here. 
And we are heading out the map. Is there a way for me to like link these two together for the moment? Uh, it's tough to link them. You, if you have them together, they can go together. But I don't. You can actually uh, highlight them both if you just. Uh... Oh, that makes it way more easier. Okay. Yeah. Yep. So me and Ducko are gonna go get our rope from Catharsis. Catharsis happily and is he, untouched. He appears to be human, right? Catharsis. Yeah, he's he looks straight up human. He looks yeah, pretty I, average. I, you know, he I, looks. He's got a sword. I, I don't want to bring him into a, a dark hold of a ship where he can't see. <laughs> yeah, he's like, yeah. Donnie can can't see though. See in the dark. Wait, you can't see in the dark either. Why are you coming with me? Because I have this. Pulls out a torch. And it. I have a torch. Fair enough. Okay. Uh, the three of us go into the hatch. Alrighty. So heading down the hatch, you are let into a area that is roughly. I'm gonna need some drawing stuff. Okay. I can only do lines. That's interesting. A room that is roughly this size. The uh, stairwell is, you know, just a basic stairwell. It goes down one level. It seems like the stairwell to go down the next level is on the opposite side of the ship, probably. And that would be the last level. Is this, from what you can tell just on passing observation, is a three-level ship. Gotcha. Uh, I take out my battle axe and start proceeding across the ship. Alrighty. And as you do so, your passive perception, which I believe 14. is... Yes, that's what I thought. So your passive perception notices noises coming from the backside of the stairwell you just exited. I'm gonna Kapora. do... I'm gonna... Yes. <laughs> Can you look behind the staircase? Can I look behind the staircase? Yes, please, Kapora. <sighs> Fine. You're the one with torch. Moves around and looks around the staircase towards where the sounds were emanating. Alrighty, so once you go, you know, down there from the torch. Uh, roll a d24 initiative. Fucking shit. Ah, you lucky bitch. For initiative, you say? Yes. Ha, I have a plus zero to initiative. Ha, ha Am I also rolling initiative? I would say yes. Well, I guess not technically. I didn't tell you're totally alerted by him, but... Okay. We're gonna assume that he's being a good party member and is going to alert you to whatever is going on with him as soon as Kapora, it happens. Kapora, are you being a good party member? Maybe? I don't even know what's going on. What's party member? This isn't some freaking game where we're all part of a party. We're oh. allies. That is Comrades. not how that that is not how that works. Silly game. Tricks are for kids. Tricks are for kids. Wait, uh, what are that, kids? That would be sixteen. <laughs> Initiative would be sixteen once it comes up. Nice. Uh and so this is the reason I asked that. I don't know if I got it up yet, but bam, turn order. Uh-oh. And you can adjust your own turn order. Ooh, there's turn order? There is. I need Ooh, to re-add you, though, because I accidentally added Donnie instead of you. Do I get to add myself? I do not. No, you can't add yourself. You can add it once I add you. So now oh, you can God, do it. There's, there's two deckers. Are there? Shit, I'm not seeing that. I only see one decker. I see two. There's one right here, and there's one right here. Oh, there are. How do you do that? Oh, there weird can I, can I delete it yeah let me yeah yeah there we go yeah you that's why it's nice to have those in your character sheet because then you can move them and control them there we go uh i, I don't know what darko is or ducko is oh okay that's donnie that's donnie ducko. holy shit fucking 20 <laughs> donnie rolled good need to get rid of some of these other people though does he use vit Vicious quackery. Oh, Ivana dies inside. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't even know why. <laughs> she just feels it like a chill wind. 
Oh, this is great. Somewhere across the ship, Ivana suffers from a horribly terminal case of duck bumps. Oh, <laughs> now we're just going to go with the ones they have here. Cause... So, uh, why am I rolling initiative? Bam! The fuck is that? Well, you might want to make perception. Well, I'm going to do a perception then. Oh, there's more than one of them. Whoa! Haha! <laughs> nice! It's not a nat 20, but it's a 20. It is. You could have also rolled religion. I probably should have told you that, because that is probably better for you. Actually, no. My religion is ex... Where is my... Yeah, my religion's a zero. Nice. All I know is I serve Bahamut. Uh, the thing before you stands, shrouded in death, shambling as if from a lost template, pulled from a tomb or a crypt or even just a cask. These awful lords of the night, even with your particular background, you can tell that this thing wrapped in bandages might be your mummy. I'm gonna look back to uh, Decker and I'm gonna be like, we got some undead. More specifically, mummies. You know what's great about mummies? Bandages are flammable. Yes, yes they are. As such, I want to throw my torch at the mummy. That's a good plan. I would say make a quick, uh, you know, dex roll, whatever, for that attack roll, since it is a thrown object item. I think we were waiting on Ducko. Oh, we, oh that's true. Yes, you were right. I mean, Ducko I mean, is... This, Ducko this is could be first. reflexed seeing the mummies. Truth. Very truth. I would allow so that. Right. It could be his surprise round. To be fair, he would have also had priority before alerting you. And True. then it would have went into full combat round, since he's yeah. actually got priority on the mummies as well. So he, so he gets a surprise round. Technically, you get a surprise round on the mummies as well. Well, I get no bonus to attacks since it's a ranged attack, so that's just 1d20. Come on! Need a new pair of shoes! That's not a new pair of shoes. That is not. Speaking of which, I'm going to try to pay attention to my side people as well in the chat. If you would like to know anything, please direct it at me in the chat so that I can help continue your experience. Giggity. Giggity. Random bad attack. Random bad attack. I mean, it's that or a dragon, and I feel like a random dragon attack would be a bit much right now. <laughs> yes, let's not do that. A mummy dragon. To be fair, they are doing their own thing, trying to, uh... They are. Barter over the map. <laughs> Does Ivana have money? I feel like Ivana was already oh! complaining that her money is gone. I have one gold. No! <laughs> I so could have done that, but I didn't do that, because I'm an idiot. What did you not do? I could have used Channel Divinity as bonus action for Vow of Eminentity and gotten an uh, advantage on that attack roll. That would have been good. Because uh, you... I'm going to say you got him, and that the one mummy kind of lights up a bit. But uh, it's not enough to like catch the whole mummy on fire. You know? <laughs> His, like, shoulder is kind of burning a little, and it looks like... Rrr! And when it goes... Rrr! The other one goes... Rrr! And then they both come around opposite sides of the stairwell. But, having said that, I say come around, but they're just, like, turning the corner. Because they don't get these surprise roll that you guys get. And they have shitty mass shit. Fucking god, I suck at rolling. Anyway, now it is Donnie's turn. Donnie looks up at them with a menacing power in his eyes, and he goes, quack. And then one falls over dead. Nope, they're, they're just chilling. <laughs> Plus, they're already dead, technically. 
Okay, falls over motionless. Uh, which uh, makes it. Uh, oh, well, Catharsis is on deck. He doesn't know what's going on, so. Decker! Uh, I look at the one that Darko quacked at with malice, rage, and then smack it in the face. Nice! I, uh, you might have to remind me of your increased rage stats. Just a uh, forewarning. So rage is, generally speaking, pretty easy. Uh, but rage, in and of itself, <laughs> I have to, like, concentrate on this, and I just hear, like, drops of water, and it's adorable. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, advantages on strength checks and strength saving throws. I take uh, make melee weapon attacks using strength. I gain a bonus to damage rolls uh, according to my level, and I gain resistance to all damage types except psychic. That is the it one lasts. I needed to remember is the resistance style damage types because that one is the one I always forget. <laughs> yep. Um, I can re I can rage a certain amount of times per day. They last for one one minute each time. Um, Which should be ten rounds. Four yep. rounds, not player Sh rounds. Shoo, the shoe nanigans. Yay. And you get a good amount uh, because you have a good yep, strength. Okay. And I should have two attacks, I believe. Yep, attacks per action, two. So. Oh, I forgot I attack, about attack. how they changed that. So attack, attack? Attack, attack. Um, All so right. I'm going to roll first attack on the one that he quacked at. And I'm also going to growl quack. Okay. Four feat. sixteen, that should absolutely hit, and that does a sad amount of six points of damage. And just curious, uh, what do you have any specialized type of weaponry? It is slashing. That is what I thought. Let me double check this because I feel like this reference site is wrong. Gotta actually check the book because I don't trust reference sites. Or while you check that, I will roll second attack. Yep, no worries. I don't believe mummy should have I am this much not going strength. to hit with that. No. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I knew it. I knew it was listing them incorrectly. They ah ha ha ha. Yes. Yes. I wish rage gave me advantage on attacks, but it just gives me advantage on <laughs> strength checks and saving throws. <laughs> the funnier part is uh for that. What was the uh modifier on that one? So the one is the actual damage yeah yeah then i have a strength bonus of plus two so okay and yeah. then because i'm raging i add three okay that's what i thought so i have to redo the math again well not redo it i gotta do it the first time but i gotta do the math again and i like i said i had to double check because i knew that stupid ass reference site was wrong it's like that mummies have slashing immunity no they have slashing resistance and there's a big difference and for what it is worth, I am uh, two-handing my battle axe because it's the only weapon I currently have. Gotcha. I'm not two-weapon fighting. That does help. Okay. Should I copy and paste that for you, Diffie, or do you still have it to, to give it to her? Okay, cool. Cool. <laughs> God, what happened to my family friendly stream? <laughs> These heathens. No one, okay, no one ever told me it was supposed to be family friendly. <laughs> it's how families are made, so therefore it's family friendly. <laughs> oh, it is definitely a pro family stream now. <laughs> pro family. Pro family. Okay. <laughs> Uh, so now you should be taking your second attack, correct? Because don't you get? I did take my second attack. It was eight. Oof! Yeah. Oof. Oof! Did not know that was that that was for. Thought that was something else. Gotcha. Nope. <laughs> Good to know. That makes it. <laughs> yeah, I was like, you'll, you'll notice I didn't roll damage on that one. <laughs> I, I did notice it now. I thought, like I said, I, there was no damage. Thing. I thought it was just a uh, unhappy random roll. <laughs> nope. Unfortunate. Kapura, go. Uh, I'm going to draw my two-handed sword. Wonderful weapon. And I'm going to go towards the other one. 
that right. speaking Decker of which, didn't hit. Speaking of which, I'm going to go ahead and move some people into the proper positions for that around the stairwell. And there then, as a bonus action, I'm going to channel Divinity and use uh, my Vow of Enmity, which that gives me uh, against a creature I can see within 10 feet of me. Using my channel Divinity, I gain advantage on attack rolls against the creature for one minute or until it drops to zero hit points or falls unconscious. All right. And that can be used as a bonus action. Yes. So after I do that, I am going to swing my great sword of wounding at it. Uh, da, 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 da. I do enjoy the fact that in 5e they changed uh, draw or sheath weapon to just a thing you can do. It really should be. It's such a quick action. If if you're a practiced fighter, that should be like a non fucking. So yeah, swinging at it. That's one d twenty plus. Ooh, one d twenty plus nine. So does that stair take up that space between us? Just out of yes. curiosity. Yeah. Okay. All right, there's my fr oh, <laughs> nice. good job. All right, so all right, so the original damage one, no, it's two d six for the original damage. Okay, so the first hit and without the bonus, that's four times that by two, that's eight plus the bonus of five, five. thirteen. Yes. And you said they have slashing resistance? They do, but you have a magic weapon. Ah. So it's magic slashing? Yes. Which is or, technically different. Yeah, something. All right. Well, because so then fine. it's slashing from non magical attacks. Ow. It's very and... specific on it. Which oh, is right. A magic weapon. Cheater. <laughs> and, and then I'm going to use Divine Smite. It. When you hit with a melee weapon attack, you can spend one spell slot to deal 2d8 extra radiant damage, plus 1d8 for each spell level higher than the first, and an additional 1d8 against undead or fiends. Alrighty, so you should, and unless you are planning to pump it up, you should get three, but if you're planning um, to pump it up, you I'm, get more. I'm using a second level slot. So that'll give you to another extra. Alright, so that'll give you one extra dice on top of that, giving you four total. Alright, so I roll 4d8. I believe so. Could be wrong, might have done the math wrong, but I think that's what it comes uh, out to. Let me, let me make sure that's right, because, okay. Divine Smite. Okay, it's 2d8. Yeah, plus one for a dead, plus one for every Slails plot. Wow. Yep, so, so that's 4d8 of radiant damage. Alrighty. Ha ha! Kupora, I'm really, uh, I'm really appreciating your positive vibes here. So, with just the first hit, that's 26 damage. Oh, also, great sword of wounding. Once Does that per work turn. On yes. Once, once per turn, when you hit a creature with an attack using this magic weapon, you can wound the target, and at the start of the wounded creature's turn. It takes 1d4 necrotic damage. So you're going to heal it. It's immune to the necrotic damage. Okay, so it won't take anything from the wounding. Nope. Oh, well. Alright, second attack. D20 plus 9. Woohoo! It's not a crit, but I still get to roll my 2d6 plus 5. For an additional 11 damage. So I hit it for 39 damage. All right. 
righty. For 11. That's, that was a total of 39 damage I hit for. Yep. And it looks at you and it goes, Blah. Blah. I mean, I suppose technically I could have taken advantage on that 17, since I do have the vow of enmity on it. You definitely could have, but you did but, not. But, oh well. So, yeah, that, that ends my turn. Alrighty, so that now makes it the mummy's turns. Blah ha ha blah ha ha. So first, uh, Mike will go ahead and have your character make a wisdom saving throw. Wisdom saves. So that's one d twenty plus eight. And yet you still have the opportunity to fuck it up. Sixteen. Very nice. So you were able to resist the mummy's dreadful glare. And out of, out of curiosity, what would that glare have done? That would have made you frightened or paralyzed. Uh, well, I'm immune to fright. Now that would have definitely stopped that. But the mummy doesn't know that. Okay. Yep, I have aura of courage. While I'm conscious, me and friendly creatures within 10 feet can't be frightened. Whew, I'm in 10 feet. You are indeed. And so they will now attack. Oh, yeah, that's a hit. Oh, and that's a hit. So, I love it when I have a decent roll. I was going to say, it beat my 20 AC. You act like 20 is high at level t fucking 10. I mean, it is pretty high. The it's only really not high very high, high on level 10, dude. <laughs> if you think any of the level 10 monsters have an issue hitting a 20 AC, you are in for a bad awakening. And I'm fairly certain Gamma could back me up on that. Or Nagi. Most, most creatures, even low-level creatures, get like plus 5 or 6 to their attack roll. This is very true. And so the higher they get, the more they get. I looked at, I looked at one character the other day that was like a CR I don't know, like 12, and it had like plus... 14 to hit yeah it was basically impossible for it to not hit that's why yeah. i said like if you think any of the really challenging stuff has issues with that you are in for a bad time <laughs> what saves you at these levels is your ability to tank hits and heal yourself in between these kinds of fights fair enough gotta double check this Alrighty, that's what I thought. So, the damage is not at all substantial. It's going to be... That is 8 plus 3, so 11 damage, just basic. And then, or the bludgeoning, I guess. So if you have a resistance to bludgeoning, which I don't think you do, Michael, but you could. And I don't remember. Unless my plate armor gives me resistance to bludgeoning, which I don't think it does. And then 14 necrotic damage. All and right. then you have uh, to make a constitution saving throw, I think. In response to taking the damage, I'm going to use my stone's endurance. As soon as I figure out where the fuck that went. Should be under features and traits, but I'm seeing it for some reason. Sacred Oath, Channel Infinity, Extra Attack. Oh, there it is. Stone's Endurance. Reduce damage by 1d12 plus 3. Very nice. Alright. So that was, what, 11 and 13? 
Something like that. So 23 minus 10. And now you must make a constitution saving throw. All right. 1d20. And my constitution is a plus 6. 23. Very nice. Very nice. And now for the other attack, which we had done for our unfortunate friend, uh, Decker. Decker. And what we're going to do is make a random roll. If on the off chance we hit one or a hundred, he accidentally attacks Donnie. Because he's in your beard. And so he did not. But he did attack and hit the armor class earlier. So let's do some rolls. Well, unfortunately for you, it was only a nine damage on the first part. But if you so have resistance that's to bludgeoning, up, correct? Uh, that is just for the first part of his damage. So it would, it only rounds up, or it does round up for your half damage for your thing. Yes. Yep. Yeah. So so it would go it. up to, but that's Five. the thing. I yeah yeah. I just wanted to make sure you didn't think I had already rounded it or anything because I was like, nope. uh, and then with the necrotic damage, which is. Also, really shitty rolls. Nine, uh, eleven. So that is six. Yep, and you must also make a Constitution saving roll. Constitution saving throw. Eight. Thirteen. You are good. Very nice, very nice. And it would go back around to Donnie's turn, at which point he quacks menacingly, defiantly, abjurantly. <laughs> and then it's Decker's turn again. We still have our free okay. roam characters out there uh, chatting oh, it up about no! maps. Don't do it. It's not worth it. No, I could have done so much more damage. I forgot about my great weapon fighting. Yep. I can re-roll yep. a one or two on damage with dice with melee weapons wielded with two hands how dare how dare okay um so i'm going to declare reckless oh because <laughs> i'm getting real I'm, I'm getting reels here uh, oh and... first attack on the one in front of me all right we're gonna go with the 21 yeah, I would also go with the 21, because that's a definite hit. And then we're going to roll damage. Yeet yeet. Yeet yeet. Really would like to, like, not roll shitty on that. That'd be preferable here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but that's uh, seven slashing, so four. All righty. And then second attack. We're gonna go with the fifteen. All right, that hits. And that does ten points of damage. I feel like there's a part of my character that I am forgetting, but I will figure it out at some point. I swear, at some point, doesn't your... Maybe that was a different thing. I can't remember. I'm going to look into it. So I thought at a certain level, your attacks were counted as, like, magic attacks. But maybe it is just all of them. Sometimes... Uh, I think you're thinking of, mon of Monk. Might be Monk. I'm probably thinking of Monk. I just can't believe that they don't have any... Yeah, that does make sense, though. The Barbarian wouldn't have much to deal with ghosts and stuff. It makes sense to me, at least. We just beat the shit out of things, and we're supposed to stand there and take the damages. This is... Yep, and now it is your turn, Mike. All right, I'm going to use a bonus action to cast a level one Hunter's Mark on the mummy in front of me. All righty. Uh, uh, you choose a creature you can see within range and mystically mark it as your quarry until the spell ends, which is a concentration of up to one hour. I deal an extra 1d8 6 damage to the target whenever I hit it with a weapon attack. So, and then I'm going to make my attack against it. 20 plus 9. 24 for the first hit. So I'll roll my... 
well, it's actually 3d6, thanks to Hunter's Mark. And since that one there is with a two-handed weapon, I get to roll that one. All right, so that's three, three, that's uh, six, that's 12 damage to it with the first hit. Yep. And now I'll make my second attack. 14. That should hit. Yes. And then I'll roll my 3d6 again. Ooh, 13 damage. Ooh, very nice. You uh, you chop at it, and thanks to your mystical and magical blade, the mummy falls with its bandages leaking dust and debris. And it goes... Also, my mummy's back. dead. How yeah. about yours? Not even close. <laughs> Speaking of, this seems about a good time. All right, that's almost there. And uh, that ends my turn, because that was my action and my bonus action. Oop, nope, that, that's my bad. I clicked on a thing. Oh, God, it went insane. Apparently, if you're on your character sheet and you click on your character sheet, it rolls things for you if you set it up. Yes, it does. I don't know how to fix things. <laughs> Those are some really good wasted rolls right there. Right? A 19 and a 24. I'm pretty sure it's a 19 and then adjusted to 24, 25. I don't know. Cause no, it's plus no. Six. Although, why did it... Uh, what I would like to know roll. is why did it roll advantage? It does that every time so that you can pick uh, just in case you have advantage or disadvantage, it would count for either one. So it always gives you the option. That way you don't have to put in something else when you roll for advantage. Seems a bit excessive, but... Yeah. Just a little bit. But yeah, mummies going well. There, you got your comrades heading down the deck. Oh, actually... Can I move over to the other mummy? Uh, you can step over that one and go around. So, like, I could, like, go here? Uh, the stairs would be there. You'd have to go to that side, yeah. Oh, I, so I couldn't make it over to behind the mummy? Uh, I mean, yes, you can make it over to that spot right there where you're at. You just okay. can't stand right over here where you were before because that's where okay. the stairs are. Partially. The stairs have to go across 10 feet to be rising right. level. Well, at least this way, when he goes to make his next attack, he has advantage. This is true. It is now the mummy's turn. He's going to attack again. Because he's a mummy and he doesn't know any better. Ah, oh, shit. And he Who's was, he attacking? He was attacking you because he's a mummy and he doesn't know any better. But Okay. I didn't play reckless, so he has advantage. Oh, thank you. Hey, hit you with advantage. Yay. Thank you for your honesty and contribution. Luckily for you... I roll like ass too. So you can take <laughs> all of fucking I think that's let's see. Ten damage. Oh wait, that's that's still gotta roll the necrotic. Alright. So five and then necrotic? Yep. And necrotic is eight, eleven, fourteen actually. The necrotic actually got good damage. Seven. Yep. And you gotta do constitution save. Unless I forget, did, do you have bonuses or stuff for that as well? You get a lot of stuff in in that fucking roll form. I'm telling you, Rage is nice. Uh, Rage is nice. <laughs> to be fair, Rage is nice. To be fair, it's also like the only thing you have. <laughs> <laughs> it's not 100% true. There's other advantages, but that's like the whole thing about being a barbarian is like Rage. 19. Nice. Yeah, you're fine. You're absolutely fine. The mummy smacks you with his rotting fist, but you're strong enough to resist the mummy rot. Oh, that's a disease, and uh, dwarves only have uh, bonuses against poison. It, yeah, that's it is a disease, but I think it's a, it's a curse actually. It's not a disease; it's a curse. Oh, yeah, I don't think anyone has any defenses against that. I, I have removed curse. He does have removed curse. You do. You do.
The only one that I'd even be like second guessing is maybe Monk with Timeless Body. Yep, fair, fair. Just because their ability scores are all safe, but still, even then. Regardless, it's Donnie's turn now. And uh, Donnie has decided that he will enter this fray, so he flaps his wings mightily and goes quack. And in the distance, you just hear Katharis, Donnie, you can't say that about people's mothers. <laughs> it's unkind. I was like, where are you? And that is Donnie's turn. We're in the darkness, Catharsis. We all float down here. I was going to say, there is no torch. I should have probably taken that into account while you were fighting. Since you threw, used your torch to light him on fire. And threw it at him. I mean, he can see in the Yes, dark. I know he can, but no. you can't with all your other shit you were doing. <laughs> that zombie would, or mummy would probably still be alive at this oh, point. It is my turn. It uh, is. I do not declare reckless because I already have advantage and that would be a waste. Yes. There is no double advantage. There is not. It is not a thing. It does not stack. I wish it did. It would be dumb. We're going to go with the 19. Sounds like a hit. Maybe not Beatles level, but, you know, it's a hit nonetheless. 10 points of damage, so 5. Indeed. Second attack. We're going to go with the 24. And he takes four points of damage. He's getting through him slowly, but he's getting through him. Speaking of, I'm going to go ahead and make this character look dead. By doing the only thing I know how. Oh, man. They, they, made, they put a new death zone thing. I don't like it. But yes, now it is your turn again, Michael. Get them. It's, that's turn three, right? That should indeed be about turn three. It's not taking you guys very long. Yeah, well, fuck it. I'm going to do what I do best against undead. Uh, I'm going to use... Their mummies? Yes. <laughs> um, I'm going to use a, another first level help, uh, spell slot to Hunter's Mark this one. Alright. I find it funny that you were not uh, on the point enough to <laughs> switch over your Hunter's Mark last time, but I wasn't going to yeah, remind you either. Yeah, I didn't think about that. I take it you want me to do my 1d20 with disadvantage? Uh, yeah. Since we're now oh. realizing you're in the dark, let's go ahead and do that. <laughs> Right. <laughs> I mean, you still have a plus nine, so you're probably gonna hit this thing. Eleven. Yep. Woohoo! Said mummies yeah. aren't high level, but that just even more personifies the fact that the low level things can still hit you when you're high level. It just doesn't and hurt that bad. Because of the hunter's mark, that's three d six damage, and I get to reroll that one because my great weapon fighting. Okay, so that's six. That's eleven damage with the first hit. Alrighty. And then I'll do the one twenty again. Next. I still hit. say comprehend language should work on body language. Technically, I mean, if they speak through body language, but Sign I think language, most, yeah. yeah. Or I mean, if you really do like, like have like say a race that spoke through body language, like the race of Futurama. <laughs> But so, I think that's a 17 to hit. That should be a hit. And I'll roll my 3d6 for 13 more damage. Alrighty. So I used Comprehend Languages to see if I could read anything on the map. Ah, oh, very nice. So you are able to read the map. Uh, unfortunately, the map mostly just has one thing written on it. And I will go ahead and message you that. Get back. Danger, danger, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
I'm a map. I'm a map. I'm a map. I'm a map. Down, down to Goblin Town. <laughs> hey, when you read this, fuck you. Haha, <laughs> 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 you wasted a spell slot. <laughs> <laughs> up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right. <laughs> <laughs>